Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a, a weekly tarot reading for every Sun, Moon and Rising for uh, June 3rd to June uh, 9th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump straight away to the spread. So uh, the first card, which represents the topic for uh, Aries' uh, week, that is going to be the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, yeah. Followed by the second card, which stands for the challenges that Aries needs to overcome for throughout the week. That will be the Two of Wands. After that, we do have the positive aspect of the week for Aries. We do have the Five of Swords. <clears throat> and the last card, which stands for the guidance that uh, Taro gives to Aries here for throughout the week, that will be the Seven of Pentacles. So once again, we do have the Ace of Wands, followed by the Two of Wands. Furthermore, we do have the Five of Swords standing as a positivity Two of Wands. It is the challenges. <clears throat> and lastly, we do have the Seven of Pentacles standing for the guidance. So Aries is... Um, this will be a very dynamic week for you guys. It looks like that there are going to be many surprising, enthusiastic gaining for enterprises that is to come around, which will allow you to further your developments, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, that is. So uh, the first card, which stands for the topic itself, it is the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands promises a couple of things. It either promises a new beginnings, all right, or it does pro promises a... Um, like I said, enthusiastic and gaining for enterprises, which enterprises will allow you to uncover slumbered talents, uh, to uncover slumbered talents, all right? So that will be a, a very productive week in regards to your career, okay? You can prove yourself quite capable when it comes to career to take on a new projects, new deeds, you know, new tasks and so on and um and so forth. Now, the Ace of Wands is associated with a, a creative chaos as well, so it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to be uh, quite experienced with those new enterprises or those new beginnings that are coming around. It all comes to that how uh, vigorous and as well how enthusiastic you are to take on them. But the thing is here, guys, that this week definitely is going to present you the opportunity to further your development either regarding career or either regarding relationship and these opportunities are going to be just more than one and that will have something to do with the challenge which we're going to go in a, a minute or to take an, to examine it in a minute and the uh, accompanied card here that will be the four 
a very strong combination for new beginnings, you know, and completely starting anew, that is, uh, let's say that you may have recently lost a relationship, all right, you may recently broke up with someone, well, these cards are pointing to the new gaining for enterprise, the new person that you are going to find amusing, that you are going to find very compatible with yourself, that you will have a great hope side, which hopes can be definitely chased here. The combo, it is a active friends that we do have and definitely with these couple of cards, Aresis, you can strive toward a certain dream of yours because the fool always focus on their dreams, right? The fool does not care how they're gonna get to that dream. They just only care that this is their dream and they want to have their dream materialized. And these couple of cards, are giving you the opening here throughout this week to start materializing your dream one way or another, either a career dream or either relationship dream or maybe both, who knows. So that leads us, Aries, is to the next card which stands for the challenges and that will be the Two of Wands. So the Two of Wands here as a challenge stands of that you are going to find yourself sitting on a well-established achievements, all right? So you already, you finally have that opening of yours. You finally have the opportunity for the new beginning. Uh, you finally have the enterprise, the project or the person you want. So, so now the problem is how to develop that thing, all right? That will be the challenge for you to figure out what to do next, how you can further develop those either exciting skills of yours that you are that are newly found like i said long time slumbered skills that are to be uh, uncovered from here or you know how to keep up the amusement and how to keep up the thrill into one further uh, into one uh, into one say uh, continuation of dating relationship and empathizement in general the accompanied card here, that will be the Tree of Cups, the formation. What we do have, that is a uh, active enemies here. And it seems that uh, you may find yourself a bit lost, you know, if you try to figure that on your own. So it's going to be very advisable here to seek foreign advices, advices of your friends, all right? Advice of your faithful compa uh, companions as well, family members, siblings, and so on and so forth. So you can obtain that pretty good idea, you know, what is capable, what, what you're capable of, or how far this new... Um, this new opening or this gift that is given to you because it's real it really is a gift uh to you that will be presented throughout the week uh june 3rd to june 9 2019 and uh you need to consult yourself before you actually jump into action you know what are the capabilities what are the po the um the possibilities for you to develop this gift of yours, either relationship or either career. You know, you may date with this awesome guy or a girl and you don't know how to proceed on from here. So maybe you want to introduce him in front of your family and see their reaction. And from there, that is the consultation you needed. That is the guidance you needed. You know, they, they will accept them most likely very well. And you will know that you can go with this one for a, a long, long run. But one thing I want to mention here either is that, like I said at the start, it will be a bit chaotic, you know. Um, you may feel a bit lost as well, that you don't know what to do and so on and so forth. Uh, what is the best course of action? I mean, it will be best if you maintain your playfulness. It will be best here if you are rather emotionally um, somewhat detached in the sense of that you are carefree and not wait to... Um, well, the word is not serious, but let's say demanding into the situation. Just allow your ideas uh, to speak for yourself. So then we go to the uh, positive aspect of the week here. And that will be the Five of Swords. So Five of Swords in this specific case only can stand for that you will very accurately choose... Uh, your thing or rather like you very accurately are going to choose your battle if i may express myself that way um if i have to give you an example here you know let's say that the opening I, and i like i mentioned it will be more than one are two projects into your career 
So the positive aspect here points that you're going to choose this project you're feeling more most confident at and this project that you it is less likely for you to fail, meaning that you will be very aware of your capabilities and you are not going to bet on a, a risky on, re, on, on a risky action on or excuse me on a risky maneuver as well uh, the other thing that the five of uh, swords here points is that if should you have any uh, villains should you have any en enemies that are trying to sabotage your work that are trying to break your relationship this week will give you the means for you to just simply annihilate those people okay they, they will no longer be able to influence in any bad way either your career or either your relationship should you be ruthless enough however to uh, take advantage of those means because the five of swords in this case does require ruthlessness the accompanied card here that will be the eight of wands and the Eight of Wands points that whatever you start throw to the shade of the uh, Five of Swords, as it is a uh, active uh, active support and uh, not supporters but friends, excuse me, that we do have here. Uh, this takes off. This combo takes off of the um, risk that the Eight of uh, Wands applies into one's opportunity. So it seems that there is nothing that you cannot achieve throughout the week, June of third to June 9th, two thousand and nineteen. And uh, additionally to that, the Eight of Swords points that there are going to be many ways of how you can establish something, how you can make something, you know, how you can make that project happen, how you can make this new job happen, how you can make your relationship happen and so on and so forth. How you're going to make it happen, it seems that it is just a matter of a personal preference. So whichever part you decide to do so, uh, it will work for you, but this is only in regards to the new beginning, all right? Uh, not to the already existing matters. So whatever starts anew in your life throughout this week, June 3rd to June 9, 2019, this is the thing that you need to further develop. This is the thing that you need to um, play with, okay? Until you get it the way you want to get it. And the last card that we do have, guys, that will be the guidance for you and this is the seven of pentacles so guidance wise seven of pentacles points that this amazing thing or this um exhilarating enterprise it is lurking just behind the corner okay it is yours to take and it will happen uh at mostly spontaneously throughout this uh, week june 3rd to june uh, 9th 2019 but also the Seven of Pentacles urges you to be uh, rather calculative with your approach. And although you have to be spontaneous, right, and you have to be somewhat carefree, that doesn't mean that you need to be rational. Just on the contrary, being, being spontaneous and being um, carefree means that you will have to um, take on this opportunity which exert a, a sense of security in it. Right. So that, that person, for example, uh, which seems rock solid, which is reliable and so on and so forth, that project which leaves a lot of uh, room for a margin of error and so on and so forth, or gives you the freedom to experiment and so on and so forth. The accompanied card here, that will be the moon. And the combo, it is a passive uh, friend that we do have. So the moon card here adds a bit of a shade to the uh, chaos and the creative, the creative chaos that I spoke about at the start. And it points uh, with the seven of pentacles that not everything is going to be revealed to you at the start. You may not be able to get the hang of it of everything, all right? But the more you work for this new relationship or you work for this new job, you know, or for with this new person or with this new project of yours, the more you will uh, start to understand that that is a very gainingful thing. That is something that you should not let go of, you know, and that is something that you should proceed on forward with, even though right now you don't have a, a pretty good idea, you know, how you're going to get to the end. Like I said, with the full card, guys, the full focus on the end goal, the full focus on the end game, the full focus on the fulcrum at the end, but it does not care how it's going to get there. The, the, the only thing that is important is that you do have a goal, okay? And you need to allow the, the, the light of that goal to illuminate the path moving on forward with. 
and this is exactly what is going to happen. So Aries is, it seems, a, a very productive week, a, a week that so desired breakthrough is coming around, so desired freshness and new wind that is going to refresh your daily reality and it's going to transcend it most likely is coming around in June 3rd to June 9th. Hope you get the tide, guys. I mean, you catch the tide and you go along with it. And, uh, you know, I hope that uh, this... Um, this new beginning of yours is going to be really, really gaining for and it is the one that you really desire for. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we are going to see each other most likely around. Until then, bye.